Hey, what's happening? Paul and Gamir with Collie Center. We are back on another day, drill a day, and uh, we're kicking off week four, drill for day four on this single knife. So make sure that you have your training knife. If you do not have a training knife for today, just grab any kind of short little stick that would resemble a knife. You can use a spoon. I don't really care. All right, just use something that's short. All right, and uh, we'll call it a knife today or training knife for today, right? Before we get to the actual training, do me a favor, make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up button, and let's go ahead and get on into it. For today's drill, we're gonna be covering the slash and thrust. We're gonna be putting these two tactics together into one drill. This is a 10 count drill that we're gonna be working on today. But before we get into that, if you really want to take your knife fighting skills, your knife handling skills, or just the information of the knife to a whole nother level, go over to KaliCenter.training to my online school and go check out my Kali knife fighting course. I have a discount code down below in the description as well as a link that will take you directly to there. You can check it out and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get right on into it right here. So the drill today, we're taking a look at a slash becomes a thrust and a thrust becomes a slash and then we're gonna do it again and then we're gonna execute that same thing on the other side just like that. So let's go ahead and break down this drill. We're gonna be starting off with an angle one right here. We're gonna slash that angle one and then fire that backhand thrust. Right away, as soon as we fire that thrust, we're gonna come down low and have a kind of like a circular cut that goes into a horizontal nice and low. And then we're gonna go into a forehand thrust and then we're gonna cut again right here. We're gonna bring this all the way up into our two chamber and then we're gonna do everything on the other side. I'm gonna strike my angle two slash into my forehand thrust and then cut low into my backhand thrust and then cut low right back into that number one chamber position. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten movements total in this drill. Let me go and show you from a couple different angles. Well, it's really not too difficult. Just remember that it is a slash, thrust, slash, thrust, slash, and then we do it on the other side of the body. Then we just start with the backhand, the angle two. Slash, thrust, slash, thrust, slash. So one of the principles, one of the main principles about the knife is that every slash can become a thrust. Every thrust can become a slash. So we want the tactics to be interchangeable. It's very, very important on the knife that we can navigate through those two different basic tactics. A slash becomes a thrust, and a thrust becomes a slash. All right, let's go ahead and get a round of training in together. We're gonna rep this drill out 10 times. 10 reps of the drill equals one round. We're gonna go ahead and get round one done together, nice and slow. We'll always take round one slow, and then it's up to you to go ahead and finish off your other nine rounds to get to that 10 rounds, right? And then you can gradually pick up the speed and make all those other adjustments and everything as you're going through your rounds. All right, let's go ahead and start this off. Let's do it. So we got rep number one. Follow me nice and slow. We're gonna kinda go slow and, you know, we're gonna stop with each strike for the first half of round one and then we'll smoothen it up for the second half. All right, so we got slash, thrust, slash, low, Forehand thrust, slash low. Two chamber, slash the two. Forehand thrust, slash low. Backhand thrust, slash low. Forehand chamber, now we're on rep two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, right there. Rep three, slash, thrust, slash, thrust, slash. Angle two, thrust, slash, thrust, slash. Right there, all right, rep number four.
Rep five. Let's go slow, smooth it out. We're going to speed it up just a little bit. Each one now will get a little bit faster. Just a little bit. Alright, again, just take it nice and slow just like that, and then as you're getting more familiar with it, then you can start to speed it all up just like that. I'll give you a little bit of another challenge if you want to add this in while you are progressing in your, in your rounds. You can also start adding in some footwork. So you can come out and just start working on this reverse triangle, bop, right here. Okay. So you can start working on that. You can also start working on a little bit of the diamond right here. All right. All right, so if you want a little bit more of a challenge as you are progressing through your rounds, we can go ahead and start working in a little bit of some of that basic footwork. So we can start working in on this reverse triangle. So we would step and slash. Uh, so if you want to have a, if you want to add a little bit more of a challenge while you're progressing into these drills, we can go ahead and add in a little bit of that basic reverse triangle footwork. All right, so as we're here, we're gonna step with our slash left 45, and then we're gonna pop that thrust and then cut right here. Thrust on the way back and then cut right here. And then same thing on the right 45 on the backhand. Slash, thrust, slash thrust and slash right there. So you can work that in if you want to work that footwork. Boom, 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 boom. Bop, 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 right there. And then you can start building some of that calibration. I'll show you from this side if you want to follow along with me real quick, and then you, you can integrate this into your round. So let's just do like three reps together real quick. So we step left 45 with the slash, thrust, cut, thrust and cut right there. And then to the right. Number two, thrust, cut, thrust, and cut right there. All right, let's do it two more times together, nice and slow. Slash, thrust, slash, thrust, slash, and then slash, thrust, slash, thrust, slash. One more time. One, thrust, cut low, thrust, cut low, and go two to the right, thrust, cut low, thrust, cut low on the way back. All right, so you can integrate that. I would highly suggest if you are going to integrate that, work at least the first three or four rounds without the footwork, and then by round five, six, you can start in, you know, including the footwork. Just go real slow again, and then by the time you get to round 10, then you can start to you know, speed it up, all right? And then you're really gonna become a Kali champion when you're including your footwork. All right, there you got it. Drill four for week four on the single knife. Give this one a go, come back here, and when you completed your 10 rounds, let me know in the comments. Done, thumbs up, finished, however you wanna say it. Please hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this week's training on the knife. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so that way your notifications are turned on so you do not miss any of the drill a day drills in this series. If you want to go back and start all the way at the beginning of this series, I got a little link right up here at the top somewhere. It's going to pop up for you. Go ahead and click that link and it will take you over to my drill a day playlist, which will start you all the way from day one, drill one of week one. And then you can work your way progressively all the way through. All right guys, I will catch you back here tomorrow for drill five of week four, continuing on the single knife.